Hello, in this video I want to show you how you can see the C code equivalent of your flowchart program and also how you can work with C. Here's my program. Um, as you can see I've got a set of LEDs connected to port B and we're using a PIC micro microcontroller and if I simulate this program you can see that we've got a simple counter, we've got an endless loop, um, a variable called count which is being passed to port B, a small delay, we then increment the value of count, counted with count plus one in a calculation icon um, here and it's a simple counter. Now the first thing we can do is we can view the C code and so here you can see the C code side by side with your flowchart and if you want to you can run the simulation and you can see which icon and which bit of code is executing at uh, any one time and you can step into the C code and so on. So what you can also do is you can now enter some C code. So let's do that. So you can enter your own C code in this dialog box here. Now, one of the things you have to be careful of is the case sensitivity as variables. In flow code, you can have upper and lower case variables. In this case, we've got a lower case variable count. But what flow what the flow code does is it then transfer that first that to um, uppercase FCV underscore count, where FCV stands for flow code variable. So flow code changes um, the variables um, that you use. And so if you want to enter C code, you've got to be conscious of that. And you've got to use the FCV underscore prefix and have all uppercase. So in this case, what I've done is I've entered a bit of code, which is FCV count plus plus, and that is uh, a bit of C that is used to just increment the value of a variable. So now we can delete our um, calculation macro and if you want C to simulate you need to press this button um, on the di dialog uh, bar at the top and then your C code will simulate at the same time as the rest of your flowchart and you'll find we've now got a counter or we've still got a counter. We can take that a stage further because what you can do is you can click on this window, the C window, and you can also start to write uh, in this text editor. So there, what we've done is we've entered another command, um, which is to increment it again. And it says, change the code for this icon. The answer is yes. And then we simulate it again. And we should now have a counter that is counting only in pairs. Although actually, as you can see, there's a problem. And the problem here is that what we didn't do is we didn't put a semicolon at the end of our command. And that's the problem here is that you've got to know a little bit more about what you're doing and the simulator is a bit more fussy. So if you do that now, you should find we're counting up in pairs. So you can see only the second bit is coming up. Okay. You can take this a stage further if you want to. Um, if you go build and then compile to C, flow code will compile your program into C and then you can view the full code that flow code creates. Now, because flow code has to work across more than one and a half thousand different microcontrollers, there's a few things going on with variables and LEDs and pins and things there, but your main code is here. So that's the main code. And if you want, you can compile that fully to the target and you can see that uh, working inside your microcontroller. And we'll just zoom into the hardware whilst that's working. So this shows you how you can see the C code and you can use the C code text editor 
to enter programs uh, and you can copy and paste C code programs from the internet or wherever in there as well. So you can see our, our counter is now counting up in pairs. It's a bit bright in the office here today. Okay, thank you for watching.